Apa sih? Masih trail best dimulai. Oke, okay, kita mau ke sini. Bisa bicara. Kapan sih ke bapak bapak? Tadi dek. Pokoknya tuh bunga bunga gitu anjir. Bawat. Lo kok bukan versi Noko? Tuh, Mas. Don Hung, Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Okay, nyanyi begitu, lah. Yes, I saw it. Then why didn't you reply? Branya is a good friend of ours. I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Law Fu. Don Hung, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. Thank you. It's great that Bellabog is able to host the celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Okay, rest up. You're not alone. I'll be there next time. Ah, dan nggak ikut guys. Kamarnya Dangung jadi bagus. Iya po. Rasan perbantakannya si Marut deh. Pity, he's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. I know, but it's still a shame, don't you think? Ah, if only Himeko could come. Tuannya kalau pompom. Pompom can't just leave the express whenever they feel like it. You didn't know? It seems like someone wasn't paying attention. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? You've been on the express for a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before. Bentar, jangan bilang kita ngajak Himeko. Ini ini baru kan? Iya, yang baru. Lanjutan. Nah, gua kira kita masuk ke kamar Himeko, anjir. Tidak. Tidak. Bukan. Kecewa berat kalau kata gue mah. Terlalu berharap. Aku penasaran anjir sama kamar yang Himeko kayak gimana cuy. Kamar Himeko full pink-pink. Enggak, full merah-merah cuy. Iya, canda. Full merah-merah cuy. Himeko, ada celebration coming up on your real estate. Iya, warna merah sih ya dari HIT juga. Dan kita diundang untuk mengambil sightseeing di sini. Bentar ini apa anjir? L Oh alur cerita Ada gini ya tadi baru sadar gue Bener Oh rekapan Oh gitu Hmm Gila anjir banyak Kalau main itu Arknek lu harusnya tau ini fitur sih Eh gak tau sih kalo aku Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while He's still resting up So wanna come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. Dear, ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Please send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save your Willow Six, after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Ah, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set off. Oh, kamar es apa ini? Oh, kamar es si Maret. Anjim. Astaghfirullahalazim. So, what do you think about my new dress? Pretty neat, right? Wah, set main 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 setengah setengah dandanan gini ni. Ngeri banget event ni. It's actually not new. I just never had the right occasion to try it on. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same outfit. Unless you're in the boat with Parker. Never before. Get all the info. 
Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom-pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go! Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring? Huh, you do seem to travel light. But don't you at least need some pajamas? I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records, and it seems like Urillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. I wouldn't call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. Ready to go? <laughs> Bellabog, here we come! <laughs> Galabar. <laughs> Seven hundred years. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. <laughs> the collector. Where is it? like a silver main guard <laughs> uniform all in black surely they're not ipc on this you think so i actually think it's pretty snazzy <laughs> <laughs> well hey. hitam semua. <laughs> anyway that's besides the point the point is what are the ipc doing here on your 6 uh, gue lepas tengah headset gue. Oh. Ya, biar nggak ngantuk-ngantuk amat. Jadi sekarang gue ngapain? Nyalatin lu. Oh, ngelatin ke aku. Jadi hmm, find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. <laughs> Hi, do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take him out? Over. To take us out? Take them out? Uh, just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Kalau bodoh apa yang mereka lakukan? Oh. Apa yang dilakukan? Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Tao Paz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella Six for a special business assignment. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Please don't take it to heart. Oh, the telephone. We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflict. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it. And this is my friend and fellow passenger. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I heard that Urillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. So humble all of a sudden, huh? Are you feeling all right? Should I call a doctor? <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. It must be your lucky day, huh, Numbi? Wow, Miss Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. 
Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express cruise. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect. But I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here. Miss March, you said you were on your way to Bellabog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but... I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. <laughs> As if anyone would ever believe that. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. <sighs> anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. <laughs> The universe is huge, yet we somehow stumbled. Come on, let's head into the city. Ah, phew. Who'd have thought just taking a stroll could be so to say? I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. Or we could go check out some other <laughs> I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Yay. Bellabog's Let's current financial it, burden cannot be pinned on no. you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, oh it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business. No, Tom. right back here, boy! Right? Get out of your way if. We're gonna be playing the American Medium Tech. It's, it's no bother. We've pretty exactly. much wrapped things up already, anyway. <sighs> oh. Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. Yeah, I think we'll have to Arena 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy. Your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. He'll see in my ass. It's time, man. Good job. Thank you. Oh, dirt. No, sixteen hundred damage though. Right level. Right level. Is everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. She seems good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Psalmworm Festival. Uh, since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago. 
It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes. I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, it wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog. Not a... Why did he even bother? Oh, him. All right, we need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the... I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation. Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the name. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we're at that stage yet. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. Thank you so much, both of you. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Oh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz gave me her number! We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who... Yeah, yeah. Coming. This guy is looking the wrong way. Those guys are in the They're sitting in base going. Oh, no way. Oh, never mind. Can I get him? No. Okay, touch. Yes, sure. Okay, got. We better Coming. think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she oh, is an IPC I executive. I can't. I just gonna try. I'm gonna try to make him a one shot for you, touch. We will angle. Okay. Oh, no. This is gonna be difficult. How often do you see a platoon of ECH get 11 kills? Please check. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time. 
Did my smart reply function tell you where I was? It's a system developed by the technology department. What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, it portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's... No. Not at all. The analysis of an aficionado. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far, I suppose. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but. No? A collaboration between our two. Not exactly. Act Let's walk and talk. This way. That's evidence of how bad this team is. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. What is it doing? But, with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellavog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh help me out? We had a momentum. We had a momentum. I see. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabox. I appreciate each case has its difficulties. But if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. What is it doing? T29 game. The strategic investment game department is, is well versed in handling such game. situations. We can offer the debtor various uh, repayment, but Hirillo 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. Oh. So, I proposed to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, so you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. <gasps> Wow, look! Uh, is that little critter native to Urilla 6? It's so white and fluffy! <laughs> Where can I find a live one? I suppose it probably is. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go... Eve, Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. No. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. We can't. Good job. No matter what solutions we propose, you will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles. Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should... So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. This thing is so much more nimble. This thing actually moves. Is this gun useful? I guess so, but that still doesn't fix Branya's problem. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. 
And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. <sighs> All these vested interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. <sighs> oh, wait, did I even go to school? Did someone send you a message? I'm going for it, Snux. It's time to blow up. Um. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, goodness! Clifford. Angle. Ah. Yep, oh, there is. Hey. Oh. oh come on. That was indeed a lot of that. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, I'm a. It looks like he's talking. I'm a river. Tank destroyer enjoyer. I'm gonna sit secure and assert like dominance. I'll press you to reverse, okay? Huh? Right. The IP. Oh, seriously? Topaz was <laughs> just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this. Oh. Like brain oh, again? I don't think I have it. No, I guess complaining won't get us. All remains as it did yesterday. Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? It's bad. Really bad. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey! Just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us! Who do you think? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any idea? A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Oh, we have lost this game. Go to your CVS and save us. Uh, who? We were just talking oh, to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? The person you're talking about. Are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazto, whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Hey, you two! Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you... You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. What? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Uh, so it's you! You are the one who was threatening to take... Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing... I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. <sighs> IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but no need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. I sense a storm. Heaven surge. Rise! Awaken, Thorman Scale. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> That paradise may be unsavor it for me. Who invited you? Huh? 
Everything is working. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. Fail to send you. <laughs> That's it. Uh, 17 rounds of interviews, and these are the best people they can. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's set off when you're ready. Ready for action? It's time. Let's get moving. There is. Turn a minute. Good. No, get back to your ship! You go to moments. Where do you do that? You recharge this? Blow you away. I did it because it was fun. American medium tank experience. We've been playing the Emperor Sherman, EC8. T20, M46 Pattern, M46 Pattern, and M48 Pattern. Sherman is a classic. I think it's still enjoyable, even though it's not meta anymore. It used to be super cool with the derp, but they have nerfed the derp tremendously with the HE changes. But it's still pretty enjoyable. It takes a lot of effort. Hello, it's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Oh, shit, that's a mouthful. Hello, miss. Are you... I'm Telbaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who'd have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? Oh, yeah, hello. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? Kamu ngapain Mel kamar mandi Mel? Lama banget Mel. Berak. Astaghfirullah. Berak kan lama banget. Nah, ini gue lagi main ganti sakit. Oh. Oke. Okay. Nah, oh. gue mau ding. <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. <laughs> No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. Yes, 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 yes. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. <laughs> Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellavog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that your real six has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guy to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. I understand. 
I will assist you with your... Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to it additionally. Calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way. All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots... Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was that? What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Ngok. Ngok. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Uh, looks like they want to find their master. But... Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the geo marrow? I really don't. This place is filled with nothing. Those cowards. Aduh, speed mereka berapa sih? Heaven search. Banget. Quick. Let's begin. Hmm. Oh, oh. The fight is set. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Leave it to me. Stand down. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Long paradise may savor it for me. Kamu sengaja membuatku marah ya? Weaken the world cleansing dragon. Kami hajar. Let's begin. This is that a storm? Stand down. Got the healer, lah. Aku nggak pernah pakai healer. Iji perut doang. Aha. Looks like Numbi's in a good mood. But aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. Bigger up, I do. Look, the guy down there. Is he the one in charge? Hmm. We'll see who's really in charge. Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow. For something so short and stubby, he's surprisingly nimble. Well, guess that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hey, you! Are you in charge around here? Uh, oh, Loco. The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. 
Don't lie to us. You seized the mine by force for yourself. You drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't... Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. You're a big sin. Yeah, we demand to speak with Topaz. <laughs> you know, Topaz? It doesn't matter. The strategic investment department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this in cases where debtors fail to repay within a set time frame. The IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and... You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't... Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think... <laughs> Save your breath, March. Didn't you claim the IPC was all powerful? <sighs> Even you think we're gonna get this here, I have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with pirates, prepare yourself for my heavy labor, damn it! What the f said? A fetter bit. Do not be afraid. Heaven search. Rise. Leave it to me. In the name of let a will forged in ice never falters. I will. Your end approaches. Yeah. You won't stop me. Huh? Sense a storm. Wow. Anjir semua ngerikan itu. Let's begin. Stand down. You Salah have nothing to wait behind this path. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Ada si ini di sini biar bisa ngatrigger gitu loh. You impede me. The strength. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. Did you really think you could stop us? Sir, we've just received word from the director. Director Topaz? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year in bonuses reduced by 60%. Mampus. Mampus deh kita. Ya, nggak dapat gaji, mampus anjing. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think so. Who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. It's a long story. Ceritanya panjang, pendek kan? Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? Oh, looks like we've got a message. Oh, we got a message. Kalau kondisi karakter kamu di bawah lima puluh persen, debit normal teknis sedikit skill ini tidak akan mendapatkan peningkatan. Oh, ada dulu bentar. We'd better go back and see her. Nah, di kondisi ini setiap serangan normal teknis akan mengkonsumsi empat setengah persen, HP-nya sampai lima puluh persen. 
waktu kamu udah membuka Accenture tempatnya selama durasi skill 10 detiknya ini maka setiap satu kali HP RSD bertambah atau berkurang RSD akan mendapatkan tambahan 6% attack sampai maksimum 30% alias 5 kali HP nya bertambah atau berkurang hanya berhati-hati aja kalau kamu berganti karakter waktu durasi 10 detik skill ini belum habis maka durasi skill kamu akan berakhir untuk first rise berikan ini ayo secara area tepat Susah juga ya, Ria ya. Nah, lain penuma. Beamburst ini hanya menawarkan satu aspek saja, yaitu damage saja. Enggak utility, enggak menawarkan bakat tim atau dirinya sendiri dan tidak memberikan serangan secara ofil. Kontribusi damage dari burst ini ada di sekitar 17 sampai 20%. Nah, kalau kamu bisa burst setiap satu rotasi sekali, tapi pada umumnya kamu hanya bisa melakukan dua rotasi sekali. Ingat mau Are you coming with us, Dila? Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. Branya message you, which means she thinks you can help. I got it, Dila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Clipot Fort. Sebelumnya, Mepo Store, tempat top up Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, dan berbagai macam game lainnya yang sudah aman dan berjalan. These guys? Don't let them see that. By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Yeah. 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 Lagian kenapa Sparrow juga ya Aduh sedih banget gue Welcome back I appreciate your help more than I can express It couldn't have been easy running all over the city <laughs> That's what friends are for, Branya. You don't sound like yourself. Uh, I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. Perhaps, but the IPC won't wait for me to catch up. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Still, that hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what- That's the reason I asked for you to come here. Look. Apa anjir ini bahasa apa, Cu? Ngaur. Bahasa klipot. Bahasa klipot. Uh, it's... The contract Topaz sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Please, take a look at the contents. And then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laborously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. Suaranya All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. 
My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust. But finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing. That all inhabitants sign a contract, which was two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared, and people began to take off their masks. After three years, when I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world, and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, how many generations of Belabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you? Once you sign this contract, all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to supply. I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision because you and you alone will bear the fate of all Bellabogians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. Her words do sound quite sincere. What do you make of it? I agree, but it struck me as an honest letter. I found the contents quite moving. It's hard to imagine she'd write something like this just to deceive me. In any case, she wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. This planet's fate, the civilization it carries, everything that's happened here and everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. This definitely can't and shouldn't be a decision made by me alone. That thought has crossed my mind and it comforts me to hear you say that. I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not dis- Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide. I wanted to put it to a vote and let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. The people of Bellabog hold both of you in high regard. They'll most certainly be willing to tell you their thoughts. <laughs> yes, we need to move fast. We've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. I'm way laggy. Back so soon? Are you, are you feeling all right? Important matter, huh? I can tell from your tone that this isn't going to be a lighthearted chat. But I'm ready. I I think I get it. At first, I thought it was just a few IPC ruffy. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? 
Right. As it stands, <laughs> the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. <laughs> Why? In that case... What? I've thought about it. This responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders. Not, no matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can... The vote is tied. What if I were to give you my view, <laughs> it would tip the scales and... I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but... It's not my place to make it... Understood, Zila. This is a difficult decision to make. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Right. It's Branya's decision. She, if she asks you, just let her know. Uh, well, it's all in. Right? I'm glad Bella. Ba uh, the time has come. The next destination, up to you. people here before March you're back so we talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld the final result uh, I see what was Zila's perspective on I should have known that sounds <laughs> like Zila all right did you come to a conclusion with the ministers Oh, it's so loud, I can't tell what anyone's saying. It's pretty much the same situation here. My time has come to make a decision. All of you! I know what to do. Himeko? Himeko! I have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. <gasps> Himeko? Uh, Himeko? Uh, aren't you... Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> it's the real you, March. I'm glad that they come. Miss Himeko? From the Astral Express? I... It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous... campaign. Things might have... If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the Architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite... exceptional. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. <laughs> I hesitate to call it a solution, but I might have some information that might help. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himako. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IBC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. But there is one Happy. thing she intentionally left out. 
Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. You mean... Performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. <laughs> to the end. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Astral friends, I have an idea, but for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city, and then I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. Stay safe, everyone. Cukup kaget anjir Si Himeko dateng gitu anjir Menurutmu gimana Mel? Ya begitu <laughs> Aku juga kaget loh Hah? Himeko Jarang-jarang loh The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation And asked that I assist you in locating Topaz Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go into... Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. Butuh api loh. Oh, mentor. Ke siapa? Ke si Asta. Nggak tahu. <laughs> ah, nggak ini juga sih. Nggak begitu ngaruh juga. Oh, juga bagus. Buat nurunin antunya. Destination reached. Wow, would you look at that? Huh. Oh, I never would si? have guessed it'd be here. Tiap beranda YouTube punya aku ada aja badut muncul. Oh. Badut. But I don't see any mech or weapons. Badut muncul terus itu. This place is 
completely surrounded by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means the architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct replica automatons. However, the overwhelming majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? Hmm, <sighs> Yes. I've gone through countless case studies, and they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, yeah, the underlying problems will resurface. Concernya... <laughs> Apa? Adiknya. Eh, iya. Eh, enggak. Kakaknya. Gepard siapa? Oh, gue mana namanya? Si Serval. A looming yeah, crisis okay. can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity, unnoticed by many. Understood. Understood. That's it. You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is while my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours. It ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. <laughs> if only my colleagues had the same self-awareness as you. Come on, Numbi. We've got some assessing to do. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Let's find her and tell her about Branya's decision. Aku tarik bentar. This time the gloves are off. Kenapa? Setengah sembilan pulang. Oke. Semoga ya bisa kebuka buru. Sparrow. Hey, hitam. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Sparrow. Are you all right? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. Such a result would be highly undesirable. Topaz is ahead. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabod is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the co- While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflicts. Unlikely potential? Meaning there could still be conflict. <laughs> Don't worry, March. <laughs> the Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. That's how it's always been. Himeko's right. As long as we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know we did the right thing.
Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for something? It's possible. Many mysteries lurk beneath the surface of this world. I'm with you. What if it's the cloud song? Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. <laughs> Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Terkenal itu. <laughs> Terkenal itu. Aku juga. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you didn't. Don't underestimate the reputation of the nameless out among the stars. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors, but we have very dear friends on Eurillo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting, but this doesn't sound like a negotiation. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. <laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. <sighs> You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. Muslim. However, oh to keep God, things moving cool. forward, there's usually ah, only one solution. Itu then. Huh? Lawannya berdarah separuh kayaknya. Enggak. Enggak tahu sih. Tapi robot gendut yang diupgrade. Aduh. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. Apa jangan-jangan izin cuti musuh tadi berdua? Ketawa deh kalau bilang izin cuti. I wish. So many eager faces. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. Apa namanya uh, sniper dari atas atas gunung menjer? Uh, uh, Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. What do? The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the tables. Go, Numbi. Whoa. Oh, Projects fuck. under my wing have no room for error. Gila. <laughs> Orang gila anjing. That paradise may be unsavory for me. Putak, putak. Putak. Gue pernah bisa lanjutkan. <laughs> Incredible. No wonder the Astral Express is so highly regarded. Lu gua tandain lu topas awas aja lu. Finish warming up. Gua tandain. Now it's my turn. Digenjreng. Anjing digenjreng lagi sama dia lu, Bab. Stop. All of you, put down your weapons. Bronya, oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian. I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> that would hardly be becoming of you. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. 
Walaupun Asa juga nyebelin sih sebenarnya. <laughs> Korupsi. <laughs> Korupsi. Korupsi royal. More important than this. Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm. That's interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences truly touched me. Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yarillo 6. So I can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find common ground. I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was, uh... I admire your determination, seeing as we've come uh, this far. I've changed my mind. I'll hold off a little longer and see. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. The first... Members of the Express... We'll need your help too. Aduh. Woi, kalau ngomong jangan jangan tubikan tinggi gitu dong. Tubikan tinggi. Tubikan tinggi gitu. What a dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Yes. This is where we put an end to it all. And then began again. That's right. Kyle, sorry for the delay. Are we clear to proceed? The path ahead is clear, Madam Guardian. You and your companions can proceed north without hindrance. Excellent. The mountain road ahead is a little treacherous. Let's go. What is this place? We've never ah, been here before, baru lagi. right? Hmm, let's go. We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. What I want to show you is just ahead. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look. The people of Bellabok have not given up. Do you two recognize that broken down La. machine over there? FBS drop. Apa sih lancar lancar aja? Hey, shh, that's a secret. It's called the engine of creation. Do you remember it, Miss Topaz? I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog without any external assistance. Ide bagus. Malah RTC tolol. Anda perlu dah cepat. Pembingin saja. Ada kambing. Astagfirullah. Btw Mel aman Mel. Kambing ngelek cow gue tiba-tiba disconnected. Aman Mel. Mau balik gue abis ini. Ih, arah. The project was led by the first supreme guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation 
was a weapon constructed by the Balabogians themselves? Yes, Ooh. but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations of Bellabogians. <sighs> Not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Well, uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have what made their decision. Guys, you know the they have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Hmm? Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. Fantastic. That might just work. As for the uh, reports and potential accountability, I'll handle it. Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. Uh, don't worry, it's it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. <laughs> That's unlikely. At most, Not they good. might just lower my rank and reduce my bonus a bit. But don't worry, I work for far more than just a paycheck. Uh, thank you so much for all you've done. I never thought we'd drag the Express into a crisis again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. Rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Tentang aku katasan. Seventeen. kali wawancara. Oh, I think I might know who you're talking about. Seventeen kali wawancara. Gimana cerita? Uh, you could say he's a um, special case. For most people, the interview process is much shorter. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. 
Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. Oh, got the hotel. I do. Rooms for you all at the Gerda Hotel, Miss Topaz. If you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. All remains as it did yesterday. I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> well, you know, keeping an eye on the crew is just another part of a navigator's job. March was looking forward to the Soulwarm Festival for ages. I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. <sighs> Time for bed. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. Uh, you only got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Ugh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Adventurine, why are you still on the line? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> my apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? In our line of work... Having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't hang up, I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay, how about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. A... Terravan? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the Marketing Development Department for once. <laughs> Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <sighs> Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Panacone. What else? What? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. 
Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. I... I'll get back to you later. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. Hello. I hope I made the right decision this time. I'm... Mesmerizing. Okay, selesai. So